uh, Augustine says something that I think it would help <clears throat> because I think we look at disciplines as you know uh, sometimes we look at it as a do list mm. you know and so number one in that list should be loving loving God loving your neighbor loving your family you know uh, loving God loving your family loving your neighbor so you know I don't think we spend enough time remembering that we're loved and that we should love out of being loved um, and I think that goes at the heart of why spiritual disciplines so a lot of times we're task oriented we try to do these things so that we could feel good or do something positive we got to do we have to do these things out of being loved mm -hmm. not to escape from being depressed I think that's a trap too um, so if you don't know you're loved and you know I would say recall the gospel you know um, so our jobs as pastors is to always point to Christ and remember and show our, show God's people that you're loved mm. you're loved by Christ and out of being loved by Christ the world would know uh, that that he loves us by the way we love one another but the love one another comes from remembering we've been loved but St. Augustine said, the confession of evil works is the first beginning of good works. And so I think that's the other part I wanted to share is the simple confession of the things that we do that aren't godly. I think that's the stepping, the first step to actually doing good works and spiritual disciplines. Repentance, seeing the, the flaws in our lives, and then moving forward into the things that we're supposed to do out of being loved and for his glory um so that's what i would share on that yeah, yeah no that's good I, yeah. I was looking at elizabeth's comment she said where do we direct questions or comments after the show and i told her we just at this point we just conclude the audio portion of it at this right. point we'll still be live yeah um i will say this uh you need to we need to protect our spiritual health at all costs this is in, this is vital. This is important. As I said earlier in Second Peter three, believers in Christ are commanded to grow. It's a commandment. It's something that we are supposed to do. We're supposed to grow. So what do we do? We ask the Spirit to reveal anything that is obstructing our growth. But don't think that you yourself can remedy the problem on your own. Turn instead to the great physician and express your desire for a Christ-like heart. Ask for grace. Stick close to Jesus and nourish your soul with the pure milk of the gospel word and you will grow. By God's grace, seeing your spiritual health get better as you go along. So those of you that are out there, thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Basement. This was episode 36 food for the soul all right at this point we will conclude but i will give a suggestion to check out the book or the video series on youtube for those of you that are like me that like the that would rather watch the video series listen to it than read the book um it's called spiritual depression its causes and its cure and that's by martin lloyd jones um, I'm looking up here because I got the book somewhere. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do. What? So, That's crazy. Go ahead and yeah. look for it, and I'll, I'll conclude if you want. <laughs> Good. Um, this is for spiritual people or Christians who are not experiencing the joy of salvation. Um, they may be depressed, um, or they just may be looked at as a miserable Christian. It's It's important. It's important that we constantly... Um, examine ourselves to see where we are spiritually if we are numb if we're feeling spiritually dead that's a red flag we need to do something now obviously that doesn't mean i'm not saying that you lose your salvation at some point but you can lose the joy of your salvation hmm. and feel like you need to be saved again <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, at this point, we will conclude the audio portion of it. Those of you that are watching, stay live with us. We're still going to be here. 
um but yeah this is where we close this part off so god bless y'all we will not be back anymore this year we'll see you guys next year yeah this is the last episode of the year so we'll be back first of the month january 1st 